Hey guys, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude, and welcome back to another Jurassic World Legacy Collection unboxing. Today we're taking a look at the brand new Dr. Sarah Harding and Stegosaurus pack. This one's really cool. The uh, box itself is styled after the mobile command unit, um, the RV trailers that they had, and you can see in this window here they've got like a computer screen kind of on an angle there. You can see in these windows um, the inside and the windows on the other side with like foliage and rain which is a really neat kind of detail. Same with in here you can see more computer screens on the top glowing and then this uh, really nice um, image with Sarah uh, touching the baby stego and uh, the mama stego with the whip action tail. Um, they just reused the Jurassic World Stegosaurus, so they didn't actually make like a new mold for this guy, which kind of sucks. It would have been nice to have a non-droopy Stego tail, but whatever. The top of the box has glass windows looking inside as well. Uh, the front is kind of like this cartoony squished vehicle uh, looking front with the lights and stuff, similar to uh, what they did with the minis in... Uh, uh, the past two waves of Dominion figures. So we'll open this up and we'll see how challenging this is. I really don't want to wreck the box. This is a really cool um, package. So we're going to do it very carefully. There's hot glue holding this. So I don't know how careful careful is going to be. Ah, oh, shit, I already ripped it. Ah, it's fine. Sometimes you need a little bit more force to get what you want. There we go. So we got that. And we'll slide it out. Oop, lost the baby. Oh, the baby's tail's painted. Nice. Oh, shoot, that's so cool. What the heck? Okay. Look at the inside. This piece of cardboard just slipped out of the back of it. That is so cool. What the heck? There's a chair there. Um, there's a tabletop. There's some bags with some books. A lamp. You can see outside it's raining and dark. Um, there's a big leaf there. Same in that corner. All the different screens on the sides. The bookshelf there and then some drawers on the other side. That is so neat. Holy cow. I was not expecting that. That is like the coolest internal deco I've ever seen. Holy cow. Okay, this is wicked. This is like so cool. And then you slip this in and you can like look through the windows and see it. That is wicked. Okay, so let's put the vehicle off to the side. Um, that's like one of the best Mattel boxes I've ever seen. Um, so here's the Stego. And Sarah. Oh, you need the plastic. So, the Stego's neck is kind of loose on the swivel. But you can see they uh, painted the beak, which is really nice. It's like a brownie color. And then they painted the front legs. Um, they have green on that, same with the back legs. Uh, the underbelly is not painted, but they painted all the plates brown, and then the green goes all the way to the middle segment on the tail. And it's got, oh, oh wow, okay. So I guess this is our first um, Dominion Stego style. So the plate lifts up and there is the scan code. I'll include that in the future video. The tail slashes like that, so that's, you know, the basic stego. The paint job's nice, I would have liked it to be, like, all green, but, uh, it's pretty detailed. And Sarah's also pretty cool, um, there we go. She's got basic articulation, um, the knees bend, the legs bend, uh, the feet are stuck in place. She comes with her little camera, similar to the old figure from, uh, I think, 1997, so that's a cool little nod. And uh, she's got necklaces, a necklace on there painted, and her little uh, coat 
is movable. You can uh, squish it around. And even her little hair tie is painted. It's kind of hard on this camera. Um, but yeah, no, very quality figure um, and really nice details on her. Uh, the baby, it has its scan coat under there. And it's got a really nice paint job on the eyes. I'll try and zoom in there. Um, really nice details on the head. They paid close attention to what the baby looks like. Um, the head's on this like rotating joint so you can swivel it around. It's kind of chunky. The neck's chunky too. Um, but a great addition to the baby dinos lineup. The tail's rotatable and the last two um, plates are unpainted. But at least they painted the spikes on the tail, which I appreciate, and the stomach's also painted. Um, this is great for photography. Any collectors that love taking photos, this is like the perfect pack because there's so many different photos you can take with these guys. And uh, I'm glad that Mattel is going into the um, lost world now with the Legacy Collection. So hopefully next year we'll get some JP3. So I hope you guys enjoyed this resu re review, and I'll see you all in the uh, next video then. Bye-bye.